Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. It is the Tuesday after the bank holiday weekend of the coronation. And Charlie and I are both feeling a little bit exhausted, but ready to ready to jump into a new week. Starting off today, as you can tell, in the gym. We've got a workout with Simon this morning. It's a really lovely day. I hope it lasts. Today, I'm heading into London. I'm gonna be sat in the hairdresser's chair at Michael Van Clark for most of the day. So I'm very much looking forward to getting my body moving before sitting on a train, then sitting in a hairdresser's chair. But then I've got a lovely dinner later with Elemis as well. So that should be good fun. I think we're going to be doing some weightlifting this morning. I should have brought my camera in because I said I was going to show you a weightlifting session properly, but I'll do that next time. But for now, I think I can hear Simon approaching. I've got my kind of olivey coloured, oh my gosh, what a pale tummy. <laughs> I need some fake tan. Olive coloured, olivey coloured Adenola leggings, um, little vest top, Adenola sports bra and Adenola sweatshirt. <laughs> right, let's get some music on. Hello again my darlings. Workout done and I'm going to make my morning smoothie. Nothing has changed <laughs> since the last time I did a morning smoothie routine with you. Um, but I've got all of my favourite ingredients in front of me. A very ripe banana, which is great because then it's a little bit sweeter. Some peanut butter. This is the one that I'm currently using. To be honest, with the liquid, I'm not so fussy. I'll just grab whatever's there. This is the Rude Health Tiger Nut Milk. I think I'm preferring Rude Health to Oatly at the moment. The ingredients are much purer. And then I've got strawberries, blueberries, and some leftover Greek yogurt from the weekend. I've also got Charlie's um, oat, overnight oats. And this is amazing because some people, I don't know if myself included, but some people don't react very well to oats unless they've been quite significantly soaked. And I think that like overnight, what's the word, infusing them in kefir yogurt is meant to be really good. I don't really know that much about it, but <laughs> it tastes nice. Then I've got my Wild Nutrition Vegan Protein Superfood Blend. This has got lots of amazing ingredients in it. I do have a Wild Nutrition discount code, whether you want something like this or my, in fact, let's get them. My everyday little favorites. These are the Daily Essentials sachets. You can actually get these on a subscription. Um, and then I think at the moment, Charlie, ironically, seeing as his surname is Irons, <laughs> is taking some extra iron um, supplements. These are our favorites and they have been for years now. Um, Wild Nutrition are, this is not sponsored <laughs> by the way, Wild Nutrition are food sourced supplements. So absolutely no nasty ingredients, no chemically fillers, nothing that the body is like, hmm, what's this? It's all food grown. So our body understands how to get the best out of the supplements. I think my code is Wild Josie. It's not even affiliate code, but I just, Thought I would share that with you. Um, and then what else am I putting in here? So protein powder and then some chia seeds. I've also got the cupboard open because I might add in a handful of nuts just to make it even more yummy. So I'm going to make this up. I'm just watching like people reporting on the coronation on YouTube. Do you know what? No, I'm going to watch this video on Compost for pumpkins. <laughs> I'm not even joking. A bit of Hugh Richards while I chop up my vegetables. Fruit rather. Um, and then I've decided I'm going to put on an express fake tan this morning because even though I'm not that pasty, I just feel like I need a bit of a glow boost. So I'm going to do a tanning routine after I've showered and made my smoothie. fantastic I thought I was actually gonna miss this train because I was running so late but I've managed to get to the station 10 minutes early and I was sticking to the speed limit speedometer speed 
limit of the road uh, so that's wonderful news so um yes heading into london today and uh, leisurely heading into london not going to be on the rush hour commuter train which is great and going straight down to michael van clark i'm not desperate for a hair color but as you can see the roots are starting to come through and the warmth is starting to come back i do prefer a slightly ashier blonde um and bernadette always does the best job i find that my honey's doing every six weeks so it'll be now and then there'll be another hair appointment which I might try and eke out a little bit more than six weeks so that that one falls before the wedding. Super exciting Arama. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm going to get on the train and I'll see you in London. And made it into Marlebone. It's looking as patriotic as ever with the Union Jacks. And I've got a five minute walk to the hairdresser. Picked up some Itsu. I got drawn in by a billboard outside with their new chicken salad, which I'm very excited to give a go. And here we are, Michael Van Clark, Beaumont Street, Marlebone. And this is the place to come. Fabulous haircuts and fabulous blonde. I just love it here. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm in the chair, I've got my oat milk chai latte, which is delicious, and a quick before shot. So we've got just a little bit of root action, a little bit of darkness on the top here, um, which Bernadette will soon sort out, and we'll have a lovely full head of fresh blonde colour. Okay, full head in foils. This means they're about halfway through the appointment. Now it's time to cook. Okay, my darlings, I'll have to show you properly in the daylight outside, but oh my gosh, I look like I'm wearing a nightie. I took my belt off because it was just getting a little bit tight underneath my robe, but Bernadette has done the best job of the most beautiful natural blonde as always. I've had a quick, uh, just soft movement blow dry, which looks lovely as always they always do such a good job here yeah i'll show you properly upstairs but the roots are all gone the color is perfection and because i've been sitting in fake tan all day and in this very comfy dress i've actually bought a different dress with me <laughs> to get changed into for tonight i just thought i'd want a fresh outfit for dinner with elemis so i'm going to pop that on do a quick makeup top up and then i'm going to head to selfridges hopefully meet an M there for a spot of shopping and then we're gonna head for our lovely dinner event. Okay, the lighting is definitely a lot better here. I have just popped on my Erdem dress, one of my lovely Erdem Net-a-Port dresses and popped on a little bit more lipstick. I always find when you sat, are sat in the hairdresser's chair all day, you start to scrutinize your makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, hair color just looks absolutely fantastic. It's almost like a pearly, creamy blonde, which I love and it looks very fresh. Perfect for spring. Bernadette has done an amazing job as always. So without further ado, I'm going to head down to Selfridges, catch up with Em, and then on to our lovely dinner plans with Elmas. I'm going to show you my cocktail because it's got a rather jazzy um, coronation logo, but more importantly, I'm going to show you my date. Here she is. Your drink looks gorgeous. What have you got there? This is berries and it's absolutely delicious. It's like a berry bramble with oh. ginger beer. There's Berry like Bramble, that's going to be one of our wedding cocktails, so I hope you like it, it's darling. Really ginger beer. Ah, your makeup looks amazing. Yes. What's on your lips? Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury. I'm makeup by Mario lip liner and then a Charlotte Tilbury gloss. Wow, which Charlotte Tilbury? Oh my gosh, it's the collagen lip bath. It's oh, so Oh, I've got it, but I rarely really use good. it. I have it. I have one oh. in my hand bag and one like in my makeup It's like bought out your lip color in the prettiest way. Yeah, it's very natural. Yes, oh, you look so gorgeous. Yeah. Cheers, darling, Cheers to, to a catch up. Oh, yeah. Goodness me, look at this. We have just arrived at Salty Girl for our evening with Elemis. There are some fabulous cocktails celebrating 20 years of Elemis. There are some of their, oh, I've not tried this one. It always surprises me when there's an Elemis product that I've not tried before, because I pride myself in trying all of them, but I'm gonna have to give that a go. Plumping Hydration Serum. And look at this tablescape, my goodness. This room is stunning, absolutely stunning. A very bad lit outfit of the evening. My little friend, Elemis. We've got Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> wow. Good 
morning my darlings it is now the next morning it is wednesday wednesday that feels like tuesday after the bank holiday and today i am heading to bista village which i'm so excited about I haven't been this year I haven't been this whole year and we only live about half an hour away so very much looking forward to a little drive down there. Last night was a lot of fun. We were celebrating 20 years of the iconic marine range from Elemis. The marine cream, pro collagen marine cream, the cleansers, the face creams, the moisturizers. I mean, now the Elemis marine cream is just such an iconic range and it was so lovely because two of the founders of Elem Elemis were there at the dinner and it was just really amazing hearing not only the story about the past but also the story about the future of Elemis and it really struck me how much they are doing environmentally, how much of a focus sustainability is for them. They have got B Corp status which is if you know anything about trying to become a B Corp it's not easy. It's all about putting people, planet and profits all in equal importance which is incredible. A lot of the new Elemis products that they're bringing out including the moisturizer that I'm using every day, the Pro collagen marine rose marine cream it's just heavenly absolutely gorgeous you get all of that amazing hydration that we all know and love from the marine cream but with the gorgeous scent of roses and apparently one of the rose farms that they source the rose petals from i think there's 20 different types of roses is in ledbury which is like 20 minutes from here so I'm going to find out if I can pay a visit to that farm because I would love to see it. They're also investing in lots of projects about rewilding and um, rewilding land is basically when, say, a field or a plot of land has been used for agriculture or something. Um, but the more we cut down trees and take away the natural diversity of an area, it's less good for the planet in short so what a lot of people and elements included are doing is making it their mission to rewild area whether that's planting native trees essentially what we're doing at the bottom of our garden um planting native trees planting native wildflower plant bringing back native plants to encourage more biodiversity in an area and if we all made a little uh, attempt to do that it would make a huge difference and elements are working with I feel like I want to say they're working with the RSPB, Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, and of course birds need these kinds of habitats and are very important for our ecosystem, and they're doing a lot of rewilding and bringing some biodiversity back to lots of different areas. Oh, I just didn't realise that they were doing so much stuff, which I'm also so passionate about, so it's really lovely to hear from the ladies at Elemis and a gorgeous dinner. I had some really fantastic chats with the ladies that I was sat with. It was a very inspiring evening. Came away with a goodie bag, which I've not opened yet, so let's have a little look. I think this might be a little gift. Ooh la la. Um, they even had little Elemis turquoise cakes with sparklers on to celebrate the birthday, the 20th anniversary birthday of the marine range oh my gosh that is so sweet a little personalized josie necklace with the elemis colored stones in the middle that is so adorable i feel like this is very on trend now isn't it a little bit like gen z-ish with your swimming costume have all your jewelry layer it up with something with your name is it a necklace or a bracelet that is so adorable thank you elemis must have been so fun putting together ideas for this We've got the legend, the icon. I think there's one sold every minute, maybe? It's crazy. Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30, super hydration, super anti-aging, or I think they called it pro-aging, which I love. I love that, like, we're not anti-aging. We don't want to not age, but we want to age in a pro way. So yeah, they called it pro-aging, which I love. But this is an anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream with SPF 30 defined by nature, led by science, and anti-aging, I need to change that, pro-aging day cream combining ingredients of Padina Pavonica, Ginkgo, Biloba, Chlorella, the skin feels hydrated all day long and looks plump with moisture. It really does, I feel like my skin has a glow to it <clears throat> when I'm hydrating with the pro-collagen marine range. Here's the pro-collagen cleansing balm, they let us in on, I think it's a little secret, <laughs> as to a new flavour that's coming out soon. I'll give you a clue. We've got one of these plants in our gym. That's the clue. It's going to be amazing. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Feels like Christmas. 
That is one heck of a beautiful box. Oh my gosh, it's engraved. That is so precious. I have to keep this forever. So I have a personalized, can you see it's got Josie engraved on the lid. How precious is this? Pro Collagen Marine SPF 30. Amazing to switch your moisturizer to this, especially at this time of year with the um, SPF in there. They also have got a new rose serum coming out soon. I shouldn't think I've got it here. No, because it's um, very new, coming out very soon, but it sounds amazing. This is the Pro Collagen Renewal Serum. And my favorites, the eye gel masks. I love them so much. They are such an essential and I will definitely be wearing those the morning of my wedding day. It's just the most effective brightening and it just makes you feel and look so much more awake. What can I do with this? Because it's so precious, I don't want to throw this away. I can take out the innards. <laughs> I want to use it as like a fancy tissue box or something. That is gorgeous. So yeah, that was that was Elemis last night. So lovely. Um, just made myself a coffee. <laughs> it's my first one of the day actually. Which, oh, that is bitter. I'm trying not to have sugar in my coffees in the morning. Quite good for me considering it's 10 a.m. And I didn't get home till midnight, so it's pretty good that I've waited this long to have my morning coffee. Um, but yes, okay, I am now going to change, might change my outfit into something a bit more practical, because as glorious as it is now, it's been out in the greenhouse watering everything, I think it is due to start raining, sadly, when I get to Bista, so maybe I need to put something more practical on. I wanted to wear this, which is one of my gorgeous Erdem dresses. But I feel, do you know what, maybe I'll just put some practical footwear on. Practical footwear and an Erdem dress. Hmm. Let's see. So I decided to keep this dress on after all. Um, I've just popped on my little Valentino rock studs. And, <laughs> I mean, not the most weather appropriate shoes if it does rain. But I'm going to remain optimistic. So it's actually, I thought it was 20 minutes <laughs> to Bistro, half an hour. It's actually nearly 45 minutes. But that's fine, I should get there just after M. Another day with M today. I love spending time with M. She is literally the purest and kindest soul in the entire world. M is one of those people that will always, what's the expression? Mention your name in a room full of opportunities. That literally sums her up. She is the kindest and most lovely person in the world. <laughs> so I love spending time with Em, she really is wonderful. So we get another day together today and um, we have just heard from Ben and Robin. Ben is getting his MBE today, member of the British, British Empire. He's just heard that Prince William is giving him his MBE, which is so exciting. They are on their way into Windsor Castle as we speak. So exciting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, very, very exciting. What else do I have to report? Ah, we just published our first ever Lemon8 post. Lemon8 is a new app. I think I heard it's from the founders of TikTok. So we thought we would just hop on it because you never know what the next big thing is gonna be. And I was exceptionally late to the bandwagon with TikTok and it's probably gonna get banned here sooner or later. But yeah, we um, uploaded our gardening jobs for the month on Lemon8 and we'll see. We'll just upload a few things and um, let me know if you guys are on it, what you'd like to see on there. Anyway, I've just chosen a Stephen Bartlett podcast on scary research, new research on sugar. Because I really do want to scare myself out of having so much sugar in my diet. Anyway, let's get cracking. We made it to Vista and I found this darling girl. Here she is again. This is same vlog as yesterday. Oh, hello. So it's like oh, continuation of Em and Josie. This lady here is the queen of Vista. You truly are. Like, every time you vlog here, she finds the best things, and you know, you know, she knows everything about Vista. The pressure is on every time I come to Vista, because I'm like, oh my gosh, I really have to make these vlogs good. I need to give a lot of insight. But you do it without even meaning to, like, you're so on it. But we've just come into La Tua Vista. Um, there's always something new here, isn't there? Did you even notice it? I have never she seen did. this before. No, no, I've seen the restaurant, but I've never seen the deli before. Uh, Okay, so there's a little deli which we're gonna go and check out. Gosh, so this is an adorable little deli. They've got so many lovely bits and bobs here. Em just spotted this suco alla arrabbiata, spicy tomato sauce. And I love, oh, I love the sound of that. What kind of pesto is it? Don't know, but it's vegan. Um, and this sounds amazing. I'm gonna grab one of these later. A crema di peperoni. 
Oh, that will be so, that will be like carbon. If you have oh, carbon, that will be what that's I've like. I've actually not been there, but it sounds incredible. It's all the pasta sauces, and it's that's oh. like the vodka. This is almost like vodka pasta, I reckon. Penne alla vodka. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so yum! Good. This has given me some inspo because I have so many herbs at home. I could make sage butter. Yes. I could make wild garlic butter. So I wonder what this is. And this is literally just sage, 5% sage and unsalted butter. Okay, I am making this when I get home. It's a lovely little seating area here. I'm not sure if this is new. There's a yeah, little Verve Clicquot van where you can get tins personalized. It's so cute. Oh, it's very calm here considering it's not like first, first thing. Okay. Should we head to Dior? Because yes, it's quite calm here, isn't it? Amazing. Let's box. do it. Tick it off the list. Found a very cute little white dress in Dior. It's got some beautiful detail on it. It's gorgeous embroidery on the shoulders. Look at this. That's too adorable. A little baby Dior bucket hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. So precious. Just adorable. Lots of classic jewelry. It's so beautiful. Got lots of little book totes. Very cute. But as M said, not the most practical. Love these, they're gorgeous bags in Prada. So these are 1100 down from 16 or 1800, which is pretty good. I mean, still obviously very expensive, but for a very classic Prada bag. And see, how does it look? Gorge, I love that. It goes very nicely with your outfit. It's the neutral vibe. And I love the um, scratchy leather, it doesn't really mark, yeah. does it? Very I nice. I love the chunky chain. Hmm. I think it's tempting. Right. Of course, I'm drawn to the basket bags. There's quite a few in the Mew Mew section. So cute. I really like the um, canvas and leather of this one. It's a nice neutral colour. How does one get into the bag? That is the question. Ooh, very jazzy. What do we think? I'm hoping because it's not leather, it'd be under a thousand pounds. Normally 1850, 1100 at the outlet, but I think it's quite nice. Yeah, Again, it's very, very classic, nice. classic, isn't it? It's very nice for summer. Funny, I literally said for autumn because it's brown colours. I think it's nice for summer and autumn. Yeah, actually. both. It's almost because a little bit equestrian. Kind of yeah. I love this. Em's going to give this one a try. Very classic. It's a little bit like the Cahier bags. Yeah. Black oh, and look, gold. It doesn't scratch though. It doesn't matter. But we've decided oh, that it's yeah. really giving Celine vibes. It is giving Celine. Yeah. That's so nice. What, what did you say it cost? Uh, I think it was 1,300. Okay. That's really good. See if they got another one because that is quite yeah, a big scratch. A scratch. This green canvas yeah. shopper is quite fun. Very practical. <laughs> I actually love this. For someone who always carries everything with them. This is fun. We just said on M's vlog it's giving Barbie. How much is that? is 960 which it's a lot when you consider that 960 like, uh, i don't even know what material that is all oh, the baby one is so cute it's quite adorable isn't it lovely with a beach outfit yeah em and i have to say we're very impressed with the offering at prada like no matter what your vibe if you're kind of gen z tiktok vibe then that's quite cool if you are in your um monty don era then this is giving a lot of uh, that kind of vibes i quite like it but yeah, I'm very tempted to come back for this. We might be getting a 10% off code at um, the apartment. So I'm going to wait and see if we do, because if we do, then that's a definite. But yeah, they've got some really gorgeous bits. M is um, very drawn in by the black classics. I'm surprised with the amount of classics they've got. Spotted this rather lovely number in Sandro. It's giving Zimmerman vibes. Beautiful. Let's have a look in the mirror. Really rather lovely. It's got beautiful cutout detail as well. So we've just headed into the apartment. We've got a little fragrance workshop with Floral Street. I just want to show you how gorgeous the table looks. So many blooms, ranunculus, some incredible anemones, and these beautiful peonies, all brightly open. I always love to take note of how they've styled their entrance table in here because it's obviously a bit bigger, but gives me some inspo for art entrance hall circular table and they've got this urn just filled with tulips and that is quite possibly the biggest tulip I've ever seen in my life. It's almost like a peony but they look amazing. I'd love to know um, 
what variety of tulip that is because I definitely want to recreate something similar. This is an area I've never seen before. This is their new personal shopping area. How gorgeous, pink walls, stunning, pink furniture. Gold detailing, which we just love the gold detailing. Beautiful, gorgeous flower displays as always. And these lovely little private rooms, absolutely beautiful. And just like that, the sun has come back, thank goodness. So we've said hello to the Floral Street team and we're now going to do a little bit of proper shopping. I truly think there are very few better shopping experiences in this world than a fairly quiet day at Bista Village in the sunshine. And that's exactly what we've got. Next stop, Tori. Tori, oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Some sweet little pearl earrings. That's very pretty. Let's see what... Why am I so obsessed with anything raffia? They are just adorable. That's also very cute. I like this. Oh, you're going for this vibe, so you're going I just love it. That's so nice. Very practical. I just love a big practical bag and this neutral colour combo. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. neutral colour combo. One of my favourite shops to pop into, Chloe. Let's have a little look what they've got in here. Oh, they've always got the tote bags. It's amazing. I have fallen in love with this coat at Chloe. Just saying to Em, my last um, bit of success was the Dior coat. It's got this lovely, almost like blanket tassel down at the bottom. It's a nice one for this time of year to wear with pretty dresses. Oh, I love it. Let's have a look at the price could be a little bit scary because it is Chloe. Just really loving all of this linen, these linen-y bits that they've got in. They've got that coat in a smaller size, so I'm gonna try that. Ooh, lovely. They've got the Chloe moon boots. They've got the little shearling sandals, which I wear so much at home. Um, and they've got the classic woody sandals over there. rather lovely. Gosh, just love all of these pieces with the ruffles. Last summer. Really? Yeah, wow. 22 summer. Oh, 22 autumn, so. Oh, okay. looks amazing and they've got a little <laughs> fish and chip stall here. I'm so excited for this. Chips, glorious chips. I had every intention of being healthy today but then I saw that they have cheesy truffle chips so oh yummy. Chips, you have been <laughs> defeated. Defeated. <laughs> that was amazing. Fueled up on our chipoladas and we're heading into Berda Betty. Let's have a little look. Lots of lovely pieces in Burberry. They've got some pink bits from the new collection, the new logos. Um, let's see, some classic trench coats. They always have surprisingly classic bits in here. Like that trench on the mannequin over there, beautiful. The capes are very elegant. They look absolutely beautiful. And then a shorter classic trench. I think this might be the one that Em's got actually. Lovely. These would be so nice for just wearing around the house. <laughs> Lovely and soft. Barbie vibes again. Look who's taken my spot in the office today. Charlie's just shared this to his stories. Dexy has taken Mummy's chair. He's such a pterodactyl. Next stop, Gucci. Let's see what they've got in here. Some very classic bags. Gorgeous. Blue lemon alarm leggings. <laughs> I've got to say, it kind of feels like the top shop. Um, what's that? What was the rail they used to have? Like, Back, buy it, buy it now, regret it later. Buy it now, regret it later. Yeah, a little bit of a jumble. It just seems to be the kind of crazy colours in here. They've got a line leggings, but um, yeah, just kind of bonkers colours. No, a little bit of a jumble. So, oh, which is a shame. But if you're desperate for some line leggings and don't mind some kind of crazy colours, then I'm sure you'll find something good here. They have got some lovely bits in Monica Veneta, lots of the classic pieces. So, wow, these bracelets with the diamonds was 700 and something, now 200 and something, and that is really classic. That's beautiful. 
pearls, so pretty, gorgeous. Our favorites, they've got the Pro Collision range. They've got so many gift sets in here. This would be a great place for um, gifts. I love the tan accelerating lotion. Ooh, this is Charlie's favorite. Very good prices here. So for example, the Muscle Soak, we get through one of these maybe every two weeks. RRP 44 and in here 33. That's good. Literally the best if you've got aching muscles anyway, after a workout. The muscle yes, it's the best. Yeah, absolutely. I love that they've got the same VM as they do in Harrods. They've got the Rose, Skin Bliss capsules, love those. And the iconic range. So I know loads of you are LMS fans. So these are, I think these are probably full price actually, because I mean these are the most iconic products of all time. Another little raffia at YSL, that is so cute. And this is such a nice autumn bag. It's got suede at the bottom, so pretty, love that. And they always have some fun bits in Kate Spade. Look at this little raffia bucket with the ladybirds, <laughs> ladybird clutch, so cute. Look, isn't that adorable? Little snuggly coat. That's so adorable. Watermelon sugar. Sorry. So cute. Gorgeous little raffia bag. Always nice to see what little pop-ups they've got in this area. In the little greenhouses, Neom. Um, I think that's a coffee place. Looks lovely. Might go and check that out. It is about time for my second coffee of the day. Or third, rather, if you count chai latte. And look at this lovely little floral street pop-up. Let's go and check it out. lusted over this pair of shoes These for so long. Shoe, oh my gosh. Absolutely peach pearl. They also do a pearl version. I think you might have them. Wow. <laughs> Divine. Mama, she got her gorgeous yeah. shoes. Yeah. So cute. Very elegant sandals in Jimmy Choo. So pretty. Suitable for a bride. Absolutely. I mean, who's proud to be? Oh, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Love Not sure if you can see with the reflection, but this lovely green mulberry Bayswater, rather gorgeous. Oh, it's so lovely. It's nearly lunchtime. We just grabbed. We just grabbed uh, a butterfly pea oat latte from Grind. It's really delicious. And now we are going to go and get some lunch at Chaconis. Hello, my darlings. Back home again. If you hear some funny noises in the background, and let me know if anyone else's dogs do this. Dexter and Dickens basically have like mad moments when either Charlie or I get home after being away all day. So Dexter is currently trying to push Dickie out of bed. Okay, they're just gonna have a moment. Anyway, I'm back home now, <laughs> and I thought I would share with you, Dexie, please. Anyway, I'm back home now, and I thought I would share with you the gorgeous bits that I picked up at Bista today. So I did make a very large purchase, which I'll share with you in a second. And I also have these gorgeous bits to show you from Floral Street. I'll actually start with the tiniest bit from today. So you might have seen at the beginning, we went into the crema, we went into the um, pasta place, and I definitely want to eat there next time. Chiconi's was lovely, they're really, really nice. Um, but I do love pasta. Crema di peperoni. It's four pounds, this little jar, and I thought that's just gonna be the perfect addition to my next pasta evening. 
And then of course, Floral Street, who've got their gorgeous pop up there. I chose, when I tell you all of their fragrances are so gorgeous. It is a British brand made in Britain. Um, it says, inspired by London, vegan and cruelty free, sustainably sourced ingredients and recyclable packaging. There is no plastic here. This uh, little box that it comes in is actually made from the pulp from recycled coffee cups, which is incredible. They were really ahead of their time when it comes to sustainability. And we had the pleasure of chatting with the founder, Michelle, today. And boy, oh boy, is she a very inspiring lady. She had an amazing career with Estee Lauder companies before starting her own brand. She was the real brains behind the whole Viva La Glam um, collections by MAC, raising awareness and lots of money for AIDS charities. She was also, she also then became CEO of Saint-Tropez. She is the lady to thank for Saint-Tropez not transferring onto your bedroom on your clothes and not having a smell to it. She was very pioneering when it came to Saint-Tropez. She was then at the CEO level of Saint-Tropez when they sold to PZ Cousins, who I don't believe still own them anymore. But yeah, she's had an amazing career. Um, and now Floral Street is her brand and they just have the most gorgeous products with really incredible, long-lasting, powerful scents. I think this one is my favorite. To be honest, I love them all. This is Black Lotus. It's got a real depth to it, some really lovely warm notes in here. The lady that I was sat next to as well, she said that whenever she wears this all day, people are asking her what fragrance she's wearing. Oh, oh my gosh, it's peppery, it's gorgeous. It's a real rich one. And these are not crazy expensive fragrances either. And of course you can get them at Vista Village, I believe until um, early July. It was really funny when we were in the pop-up because I said um, that our home has got quite like a, it's quite dark and warm and the person that was serving, that was at the tills at Floral Street recommended this one or a candle called Fireplace. I smelt Fireplace and I had to laugh because it literally <coughs> smelt exactly, <coughs> Lynn! The, ca the fireplace candle literally smelt of how our drawing room actually smells. So really woody and smoky. We didn't need that candle because <laughs> that is how our drawing room always smells. So I chose the Santal candle and this is a member of London's modern day intelligentsia, artsy, cultured and refined gooyak goo wood, vanilla bean and Texas cedar wood an exotic, well-traveled air to living spaces. Hmm. 100% natural vegan wax, hand poured in the UK, sustainably sourced ingredients. I can't wait to light this. I think that's gonna smell incredible. Um, right, I'll take you upstairs now to, oh, to show you my larger purchase. We had a HelloFresh delivery on the doorstep as I got home. I think I chose some really good meals this week. Let's have a look because I'd better get these in the fridge. I find HelloFresh meals perfect, especially for evenings like this when, I mean, it's half past six now. I can't be bothered to think of something new to cook. So this is just super easy. Okay, here we've got quick Thai green style veggie curry. That sounds amazing. And I think this is one of their rapid recipes. So 20 minutes. Oh, we've got Coronation Chic King, a fried chicken burger with a coronation style sauce. I thought that could be rather fun. Um, and then I think the other one is aubergine because I'm just obsessed with aubergine at the moment. Yeah, roasted, <laughs> can you hear these animals? <laughs> They've gone mental. Roasted aubergine and chickpea curry. That looks delicious with yogurt and naan bread. Mmm. Rum. I think the veggie curry for tonight sounds really good. Quick Thai green style veggie curry. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna cook that. So you guys know how HelloFresh works. This is not an ad, um, but it comes in the packs. So all your ingredients are here, no wastage, and the portion sizes we find are really, really good. It just means that we're able to cook freshly made meals really easily, um, and I just, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't really find the time to go to supermarkets these days, but we don't really need to because with things like this and the odd farm shop trip, we are sorted. Again, not an ad, but I do have an epic 
HelloFresh um, discount code. They did email it to me the other day. I don't know where my phone is, um, but I will leave it on the screen here because it's literally such an amazing discount code. And I think it works even if this is not your first time using HelloFresh. So you can use it even if you have used HelloFresh before, which is amazing. But if you haven't tried HelloFresh before, I'd highly recommend it. So yeah, that's the discount code. Right, let's go upstairs and let me show you what is in my big bag from Vista. Okay, my darlings, I'm gonna do this um, unboxing in the pink room because the lighting is okay in here and it's gray and miserable in the rest of the house. So this is my big purchase from Vista Village. No surprise what it is. I mean, you guys literally just saw me try it on, but I have to say, and um, we were saying this in M vlogs, M's vlogs as well, the service today, we were received such wonderful service from so many of the store assistants at Vista Village. In particular, the ladies at Chloe and gosh, the ladies at Prada were so lovely as well. There was a lady named Christina who was so helpful. I actually didn't end up going back for that tote bag. Um, I feel like I might live to regret that. Damn. But um, yeah, there were loads of lovely ladies in Prada. They were very excited and complimentary about my dress. Oh my gosh, there are some lambs in the field opposite and they were just like bounding around being, oh, they're being so cute, like little babies. And um, of course I had my new little Prada bag with me as well and they were all just gushing over it and they were just so lovely. But um, yeah, so the ladies in Chloe helped me to find the right size with this. They very kindly, before packaging it up, they actually steamed it before putting it in the bag um, because it did have some creases from being like packaged away. So as well as the giant carrier bag, nothing about this says outlet to me. It screams like full Chloe shopping experience. Um, oh, okay, fabulous. So we have got here a Chloe dust bag, my first Chloe dust bag. Oh yeah. Um, so I did, of course, like two years ago, get my amazing Dior coat from Vista. And boy, oh boy, you guys know, have I worn that coat so much. It is just, yeah, I wear it all the time. And I tried this one on and I thought it's just absolutely gorgeous. So yes, it is the one that you saw me try on in the store earlier. I feel that it could be just like an alternative, to be honest. The days that I wear my pink Dior coat are also days that I could wear this. There's something a little bit more casual about it, um, but I also just want to switch up from wearing the Dior coat all the time. It doesn't look like OMG exceptional when it's just on the hanger, but I think it's really lovely when it's on. It needs steaming again, so I might actually just put it in my fashion fridge along with this dress that I'm wearing right now. It has got a silk lining and I just love the fact, and I just love the fact that all of these little details are gold. So you've got the gold um, hooks here, really beautiful kind of champagne silk lining. I've got a Chloe coat hanger there. So actually the one that I first tried on in the store was their largest size. It was very oversized and then she was like let me bring you a smaller size not the smallest size because i still wanted it to be oversized um so this is a 36. as i said you literally <laughs> saw me trying this on in the store but here we go so can you see it's got um it still needs steaming it's got these tassels down at the bottom which give it quite a bohemian almost like blanket <laughs> kind of vibe to it this is just so much more my style than those really structured coats that I used to wear all the time in London. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more casual than my Dior coat. The fabric is really lovely and I just love unusual coats like this. Do I need another coat? No, but I just, I just fell in love with it. So there we go, my epic purchase from Vista Village. It was a really lovely shopping day today. I had great chats and catch-ups with Em. There was some other really lovely girls that I met today as well. Obviously getting to chat to Michelle, the founder of Floral Street, was an absolute delight. We, do you know what, she was, we spoke a lot about growing fruit trees. She also is growing an orchard in her garden and has grown a wildflower area in her 
country home all the way from seed which is very impressive we tried to do it from seed and epically failed so that's why we got the wildflower turf and she's also very passionate about rewilding which i was talking about earlier so lots of lots of things in common we we're talking about growing veggies and lots of wholesome chats so it's a really really nice day charlie is on his way home he's got a facial at uh, bamford i think right now so um i think he wants to cook some veggie pasta when he gets home but i'm still really full from our massive lunch at chaconis i don't think i even showed you everything i got a clip of the menu we had gnocchi we had chicken we had broccoli we had truffle arancini balls we ate well today adding on to that the chips <laughs> Em and I had earlier and the podcast I mean contradiction because I was listening to a podcast all about healthy eating but I'm going to order this girl's book right now so the the glucose goddess Jessie the glucose goddess yeah I'm going to literally buy her book the glucose goddess method right now and I think she's got another book as well yeah it was fascinating she shares loads of tips in the podcast about how to manage your blood sugar spikes and um things like taking a ta teaspoon tablespoon of vinegar it doesn't sound very nice but with water before your meal can help to balance out your blood sugar eating your vegetables first is really important getting your body moving after eating a big meal all of this can help to stabilize your blood sugar spikes and you don't want lots of blood sugar spikes because it gives you lower energy it's bad for your skin it's bad for your body it's bad for aging so very very interesting podcast i would highly recommend um the stephen bartlett diary of a ceo podcast with jesse the glucose goddess anyway i'm rambling now so i'm going to pop away all of my shopping bits and um relax <laughs> for the evening mm -hmm. 